there's a, a number of good exercises in this uh, watercolor demonstration here where I'm going to paint ocean spray hitting these rocks. I'm going to wet the whole page first. And take a one inch flat brush, mix a bit of cobalt blue with burnt sienna to get a kind of a nice cool blue gray. Well, that paper is still very wet. Just testing it to see how much it floods. Just add a little more paint to that combination. Each time I, I uh, go back for more, I mix just a slightly different combination. A bit darker. Don't, don't uh, fill in all the whites. We'll leave a little bit of room for spray. A little darker mixture here. Each time a bit more blue or a bit more burnt sienna. Just stick with those two pigments. shape just a bit of a wave and a few, few edges just to get a bit of dimension in here and I'll switch to a round brush And a bit of violet with my burnt sienna. Try and find a, a dark to go on these rocks. And I want to catch it while the paper is still wet so I get a soft edge. I want this paint to bleed a bit. We'll paint all of the um, all the parts of the rock that I think the spray will uh, affect here. Plan to go back in after it's dry and get the you know retrieve the hard edges, but right now I want to. See if I can get a the look of the soft spray coming over the edge of the rock. Get this whole thing done while the paper is wet. Now that's, that's dry, and I'm going to take the same kind of uh, cobalt blue and grade down it a little bit with burnt sienna, just to start getting a little bit of shape into the, uh, the foam, the way it's splashing up against the rock. And touch the edge with these washes, with just a little bit of um, 
clean brush just to soften some of them so you see some hard edges and some soft edges all working here on the dry paper now I can go in over those fuzzy edges that we got when we painted the rocks on wet paper and define some of the sharper edges just leaving some parts of it still still with that fuzzy edge so gives the illusion of spray hit and miss kind of lost and found And there's not much of a light source on this day because it's fairly cloudy. But still, I want to try and see if I can't keep it a bit lighter on the top. It's always hard to do to keep the... to get your sharp edges back and... keep it a little lighter where the sun's hitting or where, where a bit of the light's hitting at any rate. Now I want to start to define some of the splash on the other side of the rock. And the brush, as the brush dries out, I'll kind of blend it with the background. Here, I'm going to um, demonstrate a glazing technique after I scrub a little bit of this out just to help the spray hit the other side of the rock, lighten it up a bit. I'm just draw on that shape of the spray so I've got something to follow when I glaze in with the big brush. The best way to do this is to turn it around so the wash comes toward me. I'm going to do a flat wash, sort of a glaze, right over top of that background. I want some of the background to show through, so you need to be very delicate with the way the brush is laid down here. I just want to kind of float this big brush with a phthalo blue and a Great sienna. I switched to thallo blue because it's a stain and is very transparent. <clears throat> the trick is to keep this edge moving, and I just took a clean brush, softened that edge, and reloaded. And I never let the brush actually dry out. As soon as it starts to feel like it's emptying, I go back and get more. That keeps that edge alive. This is a really good wash to practice. Timing is critical. If you go back with too much water, it's going to cause a blossom and rush right in there. So you better get a real level of comfort with mixing the wash and loading the brush. But the board is slanted slightly toward me, so 
I've kind of got gravity working in favor. That's why I've got it upside down. Try and match that edge up. It doesn't give you an overlap. And now I've got to soften this with a damp, clean brush. Just lift up that little edge. It's easier to see. Now we can just do a little finishing to shape that splashy wave there. 